Hello, hello, this is Roberto and this is the HVAC is my channel. Today we're going to be talking about two systems and how to do the settings whenever we have two systems in a house, all right? So thank you so much for the comments and the suggestions to make this video, all right? So let's get into it. So in the previous video, we made sure that there's no glitches because you don't want to have glitches at the end of your design, right? When you are printing, what happens if it doesn't print or something? So you would have to start everything again. So in the previous video, we were talking about this, which is the tree, multi-zone tree. So we're going to be using this a lot because since when we have one system, it's all good. But when we are creating two systems, we have we have to handle this multi-zone tree, okay? So let's start with it. So we have two floors, first floor and second floor. Usually in this case scenario, in this design, they would do on the first floor, we're going to, we're going to put one system on the second floor, the second system. Okay, but sometimes it's confusing zones, systems. So for now, I'm going to be calling it as system. Okay, so flo first floor will have one system, which means one unit, one mechanical closet. I'm going to have my indoor unit and outdoor unit only allocated to my for my first floor. For the second floor, I'm going to have a second unit. Okay. So let's go for the first floor. We're going to create that. To create that, we go, we need to select a, a room on the first floor. So what we're going to do is laundry. See, laundry utility. Okay, we select that. And we're going to click in here at AH. What is AH? Usually this is called air handler. So what if you have a furnace? So this is in general, if you have a furnace, if you have an air handler, if you have an indoor unit, this is what represents the indoor unit. Okay, this is the what represents the system. So add AH is the new system. So let's click on it. And then we're going to see enter name of air handler. So we're going to call this system one. And you can call it anything. You can call it unit one, you can call it AHU one, whatever you want, okay? System number one, okay. So as you can see, now it's changing colors because the green represents unit or system one and yellow represents the rest of the house, okay? So if we, so the colors, are set by this icon right here. So in here, as you can see, there's an icon that says showed slash hide zones. So if I click on it, there's nothing. But if I click on it, it represents whatever zones you are in. After you do that, after you create the, the system, you have to convert all of these rooms into this zone. So the way to do that is you just click and select. See? You select bedroom number one and you drag it to the system one. The same thing for the rest. Bedroom two, you drag it, see? You drag it to system number one. Bedroom three, bedroom three, and then you drag it. You drag it to system one, see? You just have to do that all the time. But if you want to be efficient and then you, you have a lot of rooms, you have a mansion, you just click on it, hold shift, click on the last one, See, it's going to select all of it. And then you drag them all, all to system number one. There we go. Now we have everything in here. However, since I have my showed and hide zones icon selected, it's gonna show me my zones or my systems if I made a mistake. So let's check on the second floor. On the second floor, as you can see, this is not part of system number one. So because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going, I'm just going to drag it down. See bed two, go down and then workspace, go down. So there's another way to, another way to make this different. So I'm going to right click in here. It says in here system one. So I'm going to change it here in the property sheet to system number two. That's another way to see rest of the house and then press enter. There we go. That's the, 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 those are the two ways. However, this is not going to be called rest of the house. We're going to call it click on the rest of the house and I'm going to click on rename. So under the rename, I'm going to call this system two. System two. Okay. And then that's all. 
now we have the two systems. That's how easy it is. So as you can see in here, the green is system number one and uh, yellow is system number two. Now, second step is make sure that your unit is located where it's supposed to be. For example, this represents the, wait a minute, in here I have two systems, see? My two systems are showing on the first floor, which sometimes is the case, but, uh, but 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 not most of the times. So which one is which? In order to know which system is the system number one and two, you just click on it and then right click. And then you have in here, this is the first floor system one. So that's the system number one. I'm gonna pull it here, see right here, system number one. So usually they have a mechanical closet here, or if there's a crawl space, they will have like a, underground but in not underground but below below this floor right but if it's horizontal you can extend this a little bit more see like this to make it horizontal unit but i'm representing this as vertical so this is going to be system number one is located on the first floor now my system number two i want this to show to be shown on the second floor so if it's going to be on the second floor let's make sure this system number two right click property sheet on the property sheet it says first floor it's on sheets first floor and system number two so click on the first floor and then it's gonna give you the option for the second floor so click on the second floor and automatically press enter it's gonna show the unit on the second floor and i'm gonna put this next to here so i'm gonna request a mechanical closet here or it's gonna be located in the attic which is not a good idea but there's a lot of space in the attic right so we have already the two systems located, see, on the first floor and on the second floor, okay? Now, the third step is make sure your settings are all correct. And as I was mentioning, you have to use the multi-zone tree because in the multi-zone tree is going to be like, what system are you talking about? The first system, system one or system two? Let's go to system number one. Click on system number one and then go here that says zone information. You're gonna make sure that all the settings are correct on the system number one. So zone information for system number one, it says indoor conditions, same old, same old. 70, 75 and 50% relative humidity. We click like that. Okay, perfect. Central ventilation. What's my ventilation? My ventilation is gonna be outside there, but you have the options of ERV, HRV, depending on where are you're located. If you're in Canada, usually it's heat recovery, HRV, right? Okay, okay, there we go. And then ventilation. This is very important because uh, actually this is going to bring a lot of load, okay? So ventilation, usually we utilize before uh, ASHRAE 62.1 a standard, <coughs> excuse me, ASHRAE 62.2 2010. But nowadays, let's, let's do 2010. How about that for now? But, uh, but now we need to check on system number one, number of bedrooms. So this gets confusing at times, honestly. I've been dealing with this a lot. So number of bedrooms, let's count the number of bedrooms for the first floor. So in the first floor, I'm going to uncheck the ducts so I could see better. So how many bedrooms do I have? One, two, three. So why they, are they talking about the number of bedrooms in ventilation? Because of the number of occupants. Since this, there is no master bedroom, we're gonna have only one, two, three occupants. Okay, three occupants. So number of bedrooms, one, two, three. So what we put in here is number of bedrooms, press F8 to edit, three. And it says, has a master bedroom? It, this has to be unchecked, but this is checked. There's nothing I can do because, see, that's an issue. There, there is no master bedroom. So how do I go about it? Because there is a system number two. In the system number two, this might be unchecked and that's why. However, if we go to system number two and we go here, as you can see, there is a master bedroom in here or owner's bedroom. So the owner's bedroom is on the second floor, not on the system two, not on system number one. So I'm gonna go back to the zone information. I'm gonna put the same thing. So indoor conditions, same old, same old, and then central ventilation is gonna be outside there, classic. 
and then uh, ASHRAE 62.210. Okay, number of bedrooms. How many bedrooms do you have? Let's go check in here. We have one bedroom because the master bedroom is a bedroom, right? One bedroom, two bedrooms, two bedrooms, right? So I'm gonna put in here two bedrooms, regardless, two bedrooms, it's people where they sleep. However, it says has master bedroom. In here, you have to check yes. When you click check yes, what the program does is it adds up one more occupant. So in other words, in the calculation, in the formula, it's gonna add um, 0 0.01 times the square feet plus 7.5 number of bedrooms plus one. This is the plus one actually. If it's not like this, it's just number of occupants, two occupants. But when you click on it, master bedroom, it does number of occupants plus one. So three occupants, right? Why? Because the master bedroom usually is uh, allocated or selected for husband and wife. And husband and wives are two people. Instead of bedroom, bedroom is usually accounted for one person, right? Okay, so now we have that, and then we have this, see, number of occupants two. And then in here, as you can see, oh, this is unchecked already, which is good. So number of bedrooms three, but it doesn't have a master bedroom. Okay, and then as I was mentioning before, see, now my tonnage is 1.3 for the first system number one, but uh, just to be on the safe, safe side, I like to be more in ASHRAE 62.2-2013. So, see, it gives me more, more load, significantly, significantly more CFM, 70. Let's see how much. It's 1.4 ton. It doesn't affect so much. Let's just do more, uh, you know, tests. What it's same, 2016 and 2019. See? Most of them are the same, depending on the county or the location. So don't use 2010 anymore. I would say use at least 2013 because it's gonna give you more ventilation. It's gonna increase your load a little bit and you wanna be on the safe zone because the, the so the owner, the homeowner is not gonna complain that I'm having too much cooling. They will complain that, oh my gosh, it's not cooling. Inside the temperature is 80 degrees and we're having so many issues. I, can, I have to stay in a hotel for two days. Now they can sue your company, right? So it's better to be on the safe side and a little bit oversize it. Not so much, but oversize it a little bit. So that's why I usually put this central vent up lower power. Even it, this is gonna increase a lot, so it's See, it's gonna give you 1.6 ton. So now after this, is it has to be an executive decision based on experience. Yeah, you can either put it without this, it's a 1.4 ton. You can put a 1.5 ton unit. Or sometimes people are very conservative. See, you can put a maybe two ton, might be a lot, but very safe, but a lot, right? So also there is other options too. I would put a two-ton unit if I'm gonna buy a more expensive unit. If the unit is single stage and like a two-stage, two-stage compressor, two-stage, so it starts slow and then it kicks in very hard when it, it needs it. So if I'm buying a two-stage or a variable speed, I would maybe get a two-ton. But if it's single stage, maybe I could put a 1.5 ton, okay? All right, so um, we're gonna go to the system number two. Everything is looking good. I'm gonna put this minimum as rate 62.2 standard 2013, and then blower power 1.6 without blower power 1.5. So I would put like um, uh, maybe a two ton in here. I would put a two ton depending if my unit is located in the attic because unfortunately in the attic it's gonna lose a lot of energy okay all right so i hope you enjoyed your, your my videos and then if you have any comment any suggestions uh let me know in the comments and in the next video we're going to be talking about how to go about to do these two systems into one system and then after that we're going to be making other videos too all right I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.